Thank you. Thank you OM Digital Solutions. Thank you OM System. Thank you Olympus. Thank you JIP who bought Olympus uh, Image Branch. Thank you for this great day. Today, February 15th, 2022, they presented the new camera, the OM1. I am Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com, and today we're going to speak about this new camera. So let's start. Honestly, I do not like to speak a camera I didn't have in my hand yet, but as many people follow me because I use Olympus for over six years now, they want my opinion and sometimes I have to speak about some cameras for the same reason because they ask me. Obviously, uh, hopefully I will have it uh, very soon, okay? But I wanted to give my first impression about the, the, the things I've heard and the thing I've read and some preview, uh, uh, pre-production cameras have been tested and some uh, tests are already published. So uh, I just don't want to speak about the camera itself but my opinion about the future of the company. I remember that in June 20, many people say uh, Olympus was dead and the camera would be uh, killed by uh, the, bo the, the buyer of the company. And I was among the, the, the few people who actually here, you have the video, who defended the future of uh, these cameras, this format. It was, I explained why it was really good news that JYP had bought the company. And today this camera probably confirms what I was saying uh, almost two years ago. So I'm going to give you some new features, okay, about the main features, I think that's interesting, but also my opinion on how it will uh, help the company and uh, many photographers uh, using this system. So let's carry on. So here's the camera. The first thing you see, and it's surprising, you see the word Olympus. Why? Uh, I thought they said they would not call their gear Olympus anymore. And uh, well, the company called OM Digital Solutions said they would make a cam uh, gear that would be branded as OM System. I actually made a video about, the, about this here, okay? So why? Well, simply because 50 years ago, the Olympus OM1, their first SLR was presented to the public, okay? And it's starting a great era of OM uh, cameras. So I think it's a great homage to do, uh, to do this, to call it OM1 and keep the word Olympus on this one. But this is probably the first and the last camera built 100% by OM uh, Digital Solutions that will bear the world, uh, the name Olympus, okay? So just to clarify this. So now we're going to get into details. So the question, is it, or it could be, or I'm not sure, is it the wow camera? Well, it depends. I made a video a few months ago about this wow camera, explaining what uh, would be a wow camera and what would it would not be a wow camera. But actually it depends if you're an Olympus user or if you're not, the criteria are different. Uh, as an Olympus user, uh, I expect some things. I th there are things I don't expect because I don't need them. And for people who are not Olympus user or Micro Four Third user, for many of them, if they don't have uh, 50 tons of megapixel, if they don't have uh, trillions of ISO, if they don't have triple full frame sensors, then they don't feel happy, okay? So obviously these people, there's no way we will convince them that this is a good system and it can completely compete or even do better than many other systems, okay? So I'm not going to waste my time explaining again this, but I'm going to speak about the camera, okay? And the camera and my opinion. But yes, for me, this is a wow camera. This is a fantastic camera and they really respond to many things I wanted for me as a, an Olympus user, okay? So, uh, where, how is it placed in the Olympus uh, ca cameras, okay? Well, it's uh, it's over and it's on top of the OMD EM1 Mark III and the OMD E1X. Thank you, thank you, thank you, OM Digital Solutions for uh, making a simple name like OM1 because <laughs> The name up to now were just crazy, okay? So I'm happy this name is simple, okay? So this camera is on top of both. Does it mean there will not be any OMD E1X Mark II, whatever they call it? Well, I don't know, but I expect maybe in the future they will create a camera like this. I'm not sure, uh, uh, but this one uh, is better than both uh, together, I would say, okay? So I think, uh, Great, yeah, for me, yes, this is a war camera and the results are great, what I've seen so far. 
So I'm going to give some specs, not all of them, uh, but uh, the main one, so people uh, know more or less what I speak about, okay? And what I think is a big jump or different, okay? So, well, we're still speaking about Micro Four Third. Some people will say, when is Olympus getting a full-frame camera? The answer is short. Never. Well, probably never. And I'm happy about that. Why? Because I think you have to specialize in what you know how to do and do it well. And I think uh, Olympus or OM system is working brilliantly with Micro Four Third. It's true that Lumix has uh, also made uh, some full frame cameras, they're good cameras, but I think Olympus has to concentrate on what attracts people, which is size, weight, volume, price, all this. Price is not especially low, but if you look at, if you compare what you need to give, get the equivalent, you have to pay a lot more with some other system. It, it depends which one and which lens you pick, other, uh, obviously. Eh? Some people will tell you exactly the other, the other way around, okay? But in my opinion, for, the, for what I use, okay? So I think it's great that they keep with Micro Four Third and they actually do a great job at it. And actually some people will say, uh, well, but, then it's easy to do things like this with Micro Four Third. Well, if these other brands that make full frame cameras and they are great cameras, I don't say they're bad, if they are so genius, why aren't they able to do some of the specs that are unique to Olympus? Why cannot they make them also in their system? Well, maybe it's not possible to make them or maybe, I don't know, I don't know why, but if you want on Olympus, you're happy with it. If you don't want it, you're happy with something else. I don't see what's the problem and no need to be nagging all the time about what Olympus is offering, okay? The resolution is 20.4 megapixel. Some people are disappointed. Uh, honestly, I said in my video uh, what would be a wall camera. Speaking about the side of people uh, who are using other cameras, other brands, they would probably expect 40 million pixel, but honestly, I think it would be completely crazy to make 40 million pixel nowadays. Maybe in the future, obviously, they probably arrive, okay? But so far, I think uh, it's not clever because it would create many problems. So I think they were right to stay on 20.4. Maybe they should have go to 24, but really, when you think that this camera lets you do high res also, uh, handheld, you can get a 50 million uh, pixel raw files and on a tripod 80 million pixels so it means when you do need high resolution uh, which is normally pictures that are not you cannot do this with action photography but with a still photography you can so people do product photography architecture photography and many of these high resolution they can get it and held on a tripod so they get 50 or 80 million pixels so that's fine and also if you if you look at the latest uh, Leica M11 that has a 60 million uh, se sensor if you want the maximum dynamic range you have to drop to 36 or 18 million megapixels so it does show that if you put too many million pixels in your uh, in your sensor then you lose on something else so I think Olympus is right to keep to 20 or between 20 and 24 but right now this 20.4 million pixel I think that was the right choice and by the way this is not the same sensor this is a new sensor and this is the first time a sensor like this is in micro four third this is a stacked uh, backlighted uh, sensor and it's uh, really uh, giving great result you get a uh, two stop uh, in noise reduction get better noise uh, at high ASO in two stops and better dynamic range in one stop I think this is good honestly I was already happy with my ISO, with uh, my OMD EM5 Mark II, but honestly, I think for some people that will convince them that Olympus is uh, OM system is a valid system for them, it goes from 200 to 25,000 uh, uh, ISO, you can actually uh, force it down and also force it up to 100,000 ISO. Do I need it? No. Some people will, maybe some paparazzi at night to catch a singer or whatever, okay? That's okay. but. Honestly, I think they're great things. Like, it seems like uh, I heard or read that you have a handheld live composite, which is a great feature in Olympus, fantastic. And then if we look at uh, some features that will be, some people will compare, uh, comparing with an R5, R6, R3, A1 by Sony or uh, Z9, uh, the burst rate. For example, uh, the mechanic, mechanical shutter lets you uh, 10 frames per second, which is okay. 
that's not bad but it's not unique okay but electronic shutter you go to 50 frames per second with no blackout and continuous autofocus which is fantastic in case you uh, lock the autofocus on the first frame and then uh, if the subject is not moving forward and backward it's not no problem you can go up to 120 frames per second this is fantastic the autofocus 1053 points this is incredible full sensor okay i normally use one okay but many people do action photography they do need many points so this is brilliant really great it's they have many kind like uh, animal eye uh, people obviously with well, another kind of animal cars uh, sport uh, wh whatever okay they have really better the autofocus system they have a quad i don't know how you call it okay a special name for that but uh, the autofocus is a lot better they've also better the viewfinder the viewfinder is a five uh, more than five million pixel and the refresh rate is 120 hertz so really uh, you realize that uh, the quality when you look in the viewfinder if you need this precision precision many people will be really happy with that you realize also that uh, this camera is really thought to go outdoor it's really well protected it's ip53 it means dust no problem water no problem you can actually uh, put it under the shower with no problem really honestly it's not a joke this is serious okay so for people who do uh, outdoor photography animal uh, wildlife photography it's going to be brilliant now if we look at the video side of it that uh, olympus was a bit late on that uh well a bit uh, yeah late no they had already but it was the one not uh, up to date i would say they've battled a lot they have 4k uh, cinema format and 4k in 60p with no crop that's really important because uh, uh many uh, other uh, brands they crop on 4k uh, 60p okay in full hd you go up to 240 frames per second and then you can be in 10 bit or if you use the hdmi it goes to uh, 12 bits and 444 honestly i never use this i got no idea about video okay but people who use it they will love it okay <laughs> that's okay okay so i think what you will notice is uh there's a massive jump in speed the new processor the trupix 10 is really fast actually i think it's in dp review uh he compared the omd one mark two uh, mark three sorry and this one uh, when it goes when it makes you handheld uh high resolution 50 megapixel uh, high resolution okay so i think the mark three was on 16 second and this one is seven second which is less than half okay really really faster and you will notice it with autofocus with many things it's a lot faster so honestly uh, i think they made a big jump they also uh, presented two new lenses one is a replacement of the 1240 2.8 this is now the mark ii it seems this is mainly aesthetical uh, changes and it seems like maybe better uh, weather sealing, but it was already well weather sealed. So I don't know what else they put on that, okay? And also a 40 to 150 mil uh, F4. So for people who didn't want to pay for the 2.8 or it was too large or too, too much weight or whatever reason, this is a great pro lens. Uh, it seems to be a really good option. So really, when you see all this, you see that there is a big jump. Uh, in a continuous way because it looks the same you you will not be lost okay but uh i think what they offer is really a lot better as you are still here i'm going to give you a great piece of news okay i'm going to start dancing honestly honestly i'm dancing okay why 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 <laughs> simply because they've changed the menu system at last after so many years this nightmare menus they've been changed revamped they're logical well organized colored brilliant at last at last well it's a bit sad for me because some people pay me to explain them how the olympus menus were working okay but still i'm really happy because it's a lot more logical many people have been begging for that so at last they've made it okay but well there is a sad news uh, om system enters the famous club of camera makers who sell you a camera without any chargers they put this magical usb cable the same as fujifilm does or sony and some other brands but no charger you have to pay for it separately if you want one 
Okay, so uh, I think that, that makes me mad. I do not understand this story. I think uh, this uh, uh, environment uh, help or this, this is no. I'm not, I'm really angry about this. Okay, so one thing I'm really happy they didn't get into the eight video game okay that's a big problem because uh, some people wanted 8k because everyone needs 8k and everyone has a great computer to uh, process 8k videos no well that's the reason not many people need it not many people can use it and not many people would use a camera to do that so I'm really happy that it didn't get into the 8k that would make things more complicated more problematic so I think it was the right decision to make a really good 4K instead of trying to touch the 8K world, okay? So good news for me. Well, when a company changes owners, uh, sometimes uh, you can be worried. Uh, will this company uh, keep the same philosophy? Will they still uh, think the same way? Will they change things? Uh, how, how will it work, okay? Because uh, many of us who are using Olympus uh, some people use Olympus for many years. They love this philosophy of uh, vanguard, uh, getting things uh, done that are first to do to be done and things like this. So in, in 1959, when Olympus presented the pen camera, that was a revolution for many people. At last, they could have a good quality camera. They could carry everywhere because it was a small camera. That was a revolution for many uh, people. I was not there yet, okay? But uh, uh, I think that was a big step. And in 1972, when they uh, presented the OM-1, it was again a revolution because there were already reflex cameras on the market, but this time it was a small reflex camera, SLR. No? So many people wanted something that could they could carry everywhere and it was a SLR you could actually carry everywhere because it was small so that was a big step and when Olympus and Panasonic got onto uh, the digital system uh, it was again a revolution why why well for the reason was simple is that Canon and Nikon what they did was adapting their uh, film camera to digital but they kept many things that came from the digit uh, from the the, uh, the analog or the film world okay they just adapted it to digital but olympus they rethought everything from ground uh, the camera body was different the system was different the lenses were different it was everything new thought for digital not something you get from the past and you try try to drag so really uh, they made it a lot better and then when they went onto a Micro Four Third, it was the first mirrorless cameras uh, with Panasonic also, but uh, the Micro Four Third was the first mirrorless with uh, changeable uh, lenses. Obviously, I don't speak about the compact camera. So it was again, again, a first uh, for, the, for, the, for the world of photography, okay? So you feel that uh, they, they always work with new things. Uh, when you look at uh, the uh, IBIS, the stabilization was the best then and it's still the best. Uh, when we look at sensor cleaning, uh, many didn't have sensor cleaning that Olympus had their first sensor cleaning. And when more had sensor cleaning, Olympus was still the best sensor cleaning system. And it still is, okay? And you see, they always fought uh, to be uh, first in many things. And when you look at artificial intelligence, also with live composite, uh, lifetime, and many things, they were first and they still are first, okay? So uh, it was a big worry for many of us is will the new company still uh, be fighting to be first and create new things, all this? And today we have the answer. The answer is simple, is yes. When you look at uh, the new camera, the OM-1, they have a uh, uh, expectation, uh, life expectation of 400,000 actuations. This is incredible. Then uh, the uh, feature like the live ND, things I don't have in my 5 Mark II, but it is in the 1 Mark III and the 1MX, I think, uh, the, the, with the name I always got lost, 1X, uh, I think it is there also. It was five stops, ND32. In this one, it simulates uh, an ND filter of ND64, which is six stops and held. Incredible. Uh, the autofocus. Uh, there are many sensors that are, well, many, there are sensors that are uh, uh, back, uh, backlit, uh, there are sensors that are stacked, but this is the first one with this quad, uh, I don't know, you call that quad, quad, quad system, uh, autofocus system, this is the first one in the world. So 
another time their head in their time and try to do something different, new, okay? And then when we look at something like the, the weather ceiling, it's IP53. This is right now the most protected camera on the market. I don't speak about a camera with a, water, a special case for submarine uh, pictures, okay? I speak about a camera, standard camera, well, standard camera, camera you can buy and you don't go in the water it's not in a case but still is very very protected this is the most protected camera right now and not just the camera body also their pro lenses are, are all ip53 so honestly many of us were a bit worried about the future uh, i always believe in the future but we were maybe worried about this philosophy and i think it's incredible the way they've de demonstrated today uh, they showed us that yes, the philosophy is still the same. They still want to be ahead in things and working uh, toward the future and bring it to the users, new things, innovation. This is incredible. I'm so happy about that. Maybe this is why some people are not happy about Olympus because actually they would love to have all these great things on their full frame sensor or APS-C sensor and simply all the company don't know how to do it or it's not really possible on a full frame sensor. So maybe they should think that why we're so happy about our micro four third sensors because the experience it brings is incredible and really unique. Well, I could tell you a thousand more things about this camera, maybe one, not 1,000, but many. So some already existed and they've bettered them. Uh, some uh, did not exist and they are new. But honestly, I think this camera is brilliant. It's fantastic. I really love what I've seen that other have tested. I look at the specs. I think it's great. So honestly, uh, I think a few months ago I said I would like to go to, uh, to to stop with my OMD 5 Mark II and maybe go for a 1 Mark II or 1 Mark III. And, but still, I didn't really need it, okay? And uh, now I see the specs of this one and then I'm seriously interested. Uh, do I need to change my cameras? As I always explain, my cameras are six years old. I don't think I need to change them because I still do the same kind of pictures. But there are some kind of pictures I would like to start doing and I think having a better autofocus and having a better weather protection would be great for where I live and wh what I do and maybe to do uh, more uh, things uh, close to water, things like this, uh, would be probably better. So honestly, I really look forward to uh, testing this camera. Olympus Spain said uh, they would send me one uh, soon. So let's cross fingers. Uh, they're, they're often they're delayed. Why? Because uh, everyone is delayed because of uh, the lack of component, electronic components. So, but still, I think I do hope I will get it soon so I can have my own opinion, show my own test and give you my uh, real uh, testing feelings, okay? But so far, I really love this camera. I think it's great. So, oh, one thing, by the way, the battery, 900 pictures now. That's fantastic. Uh, it's really uh, one charge 900 pictures is really a lot better than before and even before if you actually uh, well, depends on how you set the cameras you can actually get a lot more than what they said so I do believe you would go well over a thousand with this okay so uh, I think the camera is really good really good price wise well 21 well, 2200 euros uh, 2199 exactly is it expensive well, it depends if you look compared to your budget or to other cameras. If you look compared to your budget, for some people it will be very, very expensive and for some people it will be really cheap. So we cannot compare this way. Or, or, I wish it was like 500 euros. I would buy two or three and give them away for friends or whatever okay, on my, on my uh, YouTube channel subscribers maybe, but that's not the case, okay? So what should we compare? Well, if we look at price, it compares to the Canon, Canon R6 and the Nikon uh, Z6 Mark II maybe. So it's around there, okay, the price, okay? If you look at a resolution, 20 million pixel, which is close to what uh, the Canon R6 has. So it's a bit similar, but, but there are some features that are a lot more like what the R3, Canon R3 is giving or the uh, Sony A1 or the Nikon Z6, uh, sorry, Z9, okay, sorry, Nikon Z9. So I think, it's incredible that in this price, you do get, well, some things that similar to what I said, the Canon R6, but some features, you get them only with really top of the range uh, of the competition. So I think this is a fair price. 
I think I would say more than fair. It's a good price. I think it's cheaper than the Canon R6. So I think it's a great price. I wish for me it was a bit cheaper, but I think the price I've put is really good. Uh, it will be possible to buy it uh, from March 7th in shops. But if you decide to buy before then, you will get an extra battery and an extension, a three years extension of guarantee. So I think if you're interested, ah, it's a good opportunity to uh, pre-order, okay? Because you get some uh, a nice gift. Extra guarantee is always great. And also an extra battery, which is saving some money. So I think that that's good. And they did say that it will be really available. People who did, uh, they've made many, it seems, okay? And people will get it on time if they pre-order, okay? So no worries, okay? Let's cross finger, but I believe them, okay? I think this camera is great, it's fantastic. Honestly, I think I can, I want to try it now. Now, I want to try it now. But honestly, uh, if I could not try it, I would uh, buy it anyway, because uh, I, I think it's fantastic, okay? So, thank you very much to everyone who has uh, kept believing in uh, Olympus or OM system or M digital solution or whatever you want to call it because it's thanks to uh, all of you and i include myself in there who still believe uh, that uh, there was a future in this uh, format in this brand and thanks to all of us they can keep making cameras uh, making great improvements keep making great uh, research to make better cameras better everything so i'm really happy that we've believed in them and now they thank us with this well they don't give it for free okay but they give some results what we expected so i'm really happy about that so thank you very much for watching my video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel small so button down here and a small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website arishibo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below i'll leave you a link of my gear on amazon link to everything i've reviewed by kf concept and sendmark and a link to my paypal account in case you wanted to make a donation well honestly it's a true emotion for me when i heard about the camera and when i saw it i was almost crying Okay, take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.